Welcome, welcome, welcome! All right. Yeah. Just waiting for the words to pop up on the screen so I can say the things that we practiced earlier. <laughs> One more day to the weekend, everybody. It's your boy, Money Flippin' Matt Richards, hoping it hasn't been too rough on you, okay? But even if the rat race is running you ragged, you always got HQ trivia waiting for you at the end of the day. It's me, okay? It's a big day for nerds, all right? 40 years ago today, The Empire Strikes Back was released to movie theaters. I'm not allowed to promise that we'll honor that anniversary with a question, but uh, you might just want to have a family nerd standing by, you know, just, I'm winking. You see that? I'm terrible at winking. Okay, <laughs> so what do you think? Is, uh, is the Empire the greatest cliffhanger of all time? Some would say The Simpsons Who Shot Mr. Burns Part 1 is better. And what do you know? Today's the 25th anniversary of that. It is a bunch of anniversaries. I'm calling it a holiday, okay? Happy cliffhangers from franchises that used to be Fox but are now Disney Day. Yeah, let's keep it traditional and not commercialized. Commercial, commercialized. Let's not commercialize it, okay? Well, let's commercialize it a little bit with some prize money. I like that. As usual, I'm going to be asking 12 tricky testers of trenchancy and spreading out $5,000 among everybody reaching the end. Will you be all incredibly smart or fall inevitably apart? Hmm, we gonna see. And while we're on the case, we're also delivering some love to a remarkable charity group, Perfect Strangers, delivering essential supplies to people who need them. COVID-19 has made it far more difficult for the elderly, immunocompromised, and at risk to get simple things like groceries, prescriptions, and other supplies. So Perfect Strangers dispatches local volunteers to make the trip instead. All volunteers are vetted for clear backgrounds and follow all guidelines regarding safety and social distancing. And in just weeks of operation, they've spread all over California's Bay Area and to three other cities. That sounds pretty perfect to me! and all of us here at HQ. So we're matching tonight's prize and giving away $5,000 to perfect strangers. Check out this video they sent us. All right, take a look at this. What's up HQ fam? Hey girl. I'm Ellie and I'm one of the co-founders of Perfect Strangers, a new national nonprofit working to combat coronavirus in our local communities. We are so excited to be with all you HQDs tonight. And with that, I'll pass it over to my co-founder Mimi, who's gonna share a little bit more information on what we're all about. Thanks, Ellie. Hey, everyone. I'm Mimi, one of the other founders of Perfect hey. Strangers. We are a national nonprofit that does delivery of groceries, prescriptions, and general errand running for the members of our community that need it the most. We serve the elderly, immunocompromised, and otherwise at-risk individuals. This includes mentally ill, disabled, and low-income and limited English proficiency communities. So anyone who needs a little extra support is someone that we're able to serve. Thank you so much to all of you. and. HQDs, y'all can visit them at weareperfectstrangers.org because more help is always needed. You understand? Okay, before we get to question number one, which is coming up right after this, I promise, I want y'all to check out Jason, my man Jason, winning some HQ. Take a look at this. Oh man, I love seeing y'all get so pumped up for an HQ win. So listen up, be sure to record any fam or friends who are playing at question 12 and send it to us if they win, okay? Tag me, at Matt What's Funny, at HQ Trivia. We want to see it and we're going to show you on the show if you're winning. Yeah! All right, who's excited, ignited, and delighted to answer some questions? I can hear them banging on the door right now, so I don't think we can hold them back much longer. Let's start this 12-step hike down to the trivia trail. Right? We're on the trivia trail. I say we started, right about now. Got my mug ready. All right, question number one. Who recorded the 1991 grunge classic, Smells Like Teen Spirit? Nirvana, Billie Eilish, or Louis Armstrong? Who did it? All right. 
tonight. If you want to be one of the biggest hits of 1991, it helps to be alive in 1991. Satchmo had been gone for 20 years, and Billy was 10 years away. So Nirvana did the hard work. But if Louis Armstrong had been alive, I feel stupid and contagious. Shabba dabba bebop. <laughs> 77,836 got it right. Shabba dabba bebop. That sounds like Michael Jackson. I know it's supposed to be like a Louis Armstrong thing. Shabba da baba beba. Q2. Which of these nations is south of the equator? Albania, Algeria, or Australia? South of the equator, y'all. If you think you got it, you can change your answer. But make sure you do it before the time's up. You don't want to get locked in on the wrong one. Okay, a majority of humans live above the equator. In fact, only about 10% live in the Southern Hemisphere, even though it has about two thirds of the land. And a lot of that two thirds is the continent and country of Australia. Good on ya! 75,672 knew what to do at Q2. Look at you! Whoa! Q3? Let's throw another Q3 on the bar. <laughs> okay. Q3, which of these materials is acquired from insects? Chenille, satin, or silk? What is it going to be? Which I'm gonna move, the tide just be like, whoop. It goes, you, doom, <laughs> zoom. Okay. Hope you avoided the trap there. Chenille may be the French word for caterpillar, but the fabric is made out of the yarn that resembles them, okay? If you want some bugs to make your wardrobe, you gotta gather up some silkworms. 72,613, got it right. They make the cocoon and then you boil it. Find a little thread and unravel that thing. And then you put it with a bunch of other ones and make a little scarf or a, a tie. Question number four, knocking on your door. Here we go. Which of these is a reason for disqualification in a golf tournament? Not finishing a hole, striking an animal, or too many clubs? What's gonna get you kicked out of a golf tournament? All of these have happened in tournaments, but the most serious one is beginning a new hole without finishing the previous one, okay? You will be disqualified by whatever golf has instead of umpires. Oh my God, yeah! That was savage! 28,945 of y'all know a thing or two about the golf game. Woo! Hootamaga. <laughs> Q5. Oh, wait. Y'all know what time it is. Say those bank. <laughs> she said, say those bank. Go ahead, girl. Sing it, baby. So clean. <laughs> say those bank. Okay. Question number five. Here we go. What adjective is in the theme song to the 60s Adams Family series? Macabre, malevolent, or mysterious? What's it going to be, y'all? About 50 years ago, this would have been a question one, okay? The Adamses were a TV hit, and everybody knew at least the first verse of the theme song. Take a listen to this. They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together ooky, the Adams family. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, they're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. What? Mysterious, y'all. 33,698 got it right. They're all together ooky. The Adams family. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Okay. <laughs> Q6, y'all. Let's get it. Which of these techniques is not commonly used in sculpture? Bas relief, bedo grave, or chiaroscuro? Calling all artists. What's it gonna be? All right, if you create, if you're, you know, creating and you're sculpting in concrete, you might try the Beto Grave technique. And bas relief is used with all kinds of materials to simulate depth. But chiaroscuro is a blend of light and dark in painting and photography. 18,617 of you got it right. Chiaroscuro! Yeah, question number seven. Let's go to work, shall we? The historical term before present generally refers to the time before what? The nuclear age, the automobile, or harnessed electricity? 
before present. What's it referring to? Okay, this is a time scale used in science fields like archaeology and geology, based on the date when radiocarbon dating became a little shaky and unreliable, okay? And that, of course, is when man started unleashing nuclear radiation. The nuclear age! Yeah, 12,387 got it right! Woo! You dropped a bomb on me, baby! You dropped a bomb on me! Okay, the nuclear age. Q8! No, you're feeling great! What up, Nate? You knew the last question, didn't you? Yeah, you did. You're so smart. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> question number eight. Here we go. The part of the brain that controls balance is named the Latin for what? Long middle, little brain, or back of head? Don't forget. You think it, you got it, and you're like, nope, you can change your mind, but then you change it back. It's up to you. you gotta trust yourself. All right, our brains are amazing machines that have divided up labor among the most qualified lobes. And the next time you don't fall down, you can thank the cerebellum. Yeah, that means little brain. 11,647 got it right at question number eight. Four questions stand between you and $5,000. Your share of $5,000. Unless you're the only one to get question 12 right, then, then it's all yours. Here we go, Q9, let's get it. A cereal company promotion once gave out deeds to land where? Alaska, Ohio, or Canada? What's it gonna be? Okay, okay. Many 1950s kids became junior real estate speculators when Quaker Oats offered square inches of real land for cereal box tops. Why were kids even interested, huh? I don't know. A hit radio show was Sergeant Preston of the Yukon, and it was Yukon Canada Land. Oh my gosh, that's a savage cereal box top in exchange for Yukon Land. Question. Dang, homie. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. 982 got it right. Woo! Woo! Use those extra lives, because that's what they're there for. That's why you have them. In case of savagery. Dang, that gave me goosebumps. Okay, we're back in it, and y'all ready to win it. Here we go, question number 10, my friends. Time to get it in. What is not rumored to appear in the asteroid field sequence in The Empire Strikes Back? Potato, shoe, or TARDIS? What's it gonna be? Oh, what's it gonna be? All right, lots of the asteroids resemble potatoes, enough to start a rumor that one is. And both Empire and the next film, Return of the Jedi, have had rumors of a space shoe that no one's really found. But the doctor definitely kept his distance. TARDIS is the answer I was looking for. 2,889 got it right at Q10. Two more questions to go. Let's boogie. <laughs> Question number 11. All dogs go to heaven. And cats too. Yeah. Here we go. What happened to the speaker during the first ever live recording of a poem? Fainted, forgot the text, or got hiccups? What? All right, are you waiting for me to tell you? Hmm? I don't have to. It was recorded. <laughs> Let's listen right now to Robert Browning in 1889 trying to read his own poem. Take, take, a, take a look. Awkward. Yeah, he forgot. That's a brain fart right there. We have 1,856 of you. Moving on to the final question. It's cute trivia. I'm so excited. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Question 12 for all the marbles. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Which of these biblical figures lends his name to a method used in competitive eating? Noah, Moses, or Solomon? Which one is it gonna be for your share of $5,000? Also, I hope somebody's filming you right now. Cause this is about to be crazy. Okay. Any of these great names would be proud to know they're honored by the sport of gluttony. 
but it was my man and friend of HQ, hot dog eater Takuru Kobayashi, who pioneered breaking those babies in half before eating. And who threatened to split a baby? Solomon! Oh, yeah! We have 1,000 winners of HQ Trivia, baby, let's go! Woo! Come on now! That's what I'm talking about! Make you wanna scream and shout! Let's go! Five dollars, that's enough to make you holla! Yeah, congratulations! Ooh wee! 503 to be right! Okay, Harzel and uh, San Serena, AJ Heather, my maimer, <laughs> Zulivuloon Casey Dog Zero Men Skill Swap Dacidot Sunny It's me Aiden No, I'm Matt Oh, you're Aiden, yeah Congratulations everybody! You did that, we have 993 winners Oh boy! And that's the way the money goes folks I hope you earned something or at least learned something And every night at the same time as tonight is another chance to get a little richer on HQ Trivia. So set your notifications to make sure you never miss a game, you feel me? That charity again is Perfect Strangers, helping the vulnerable by delivering supplies they need so much. They're at weareperfectstrangers.org. So go see if you can help, all right? Until we meet again, this is your boy Matt Richards saying, when you sign up to a website, I think the burden should be on them to prove that you are a robot. You feel me? Huh? Which one of these is a traffic sign? I don't know, you tell me. You tell me what's traffic sign. Traffic signs could be different for everybody. But I mean, okay, maybe not. But listen, I know what a car looks like, okay? Do I click it even if it's just a little teeny, teeny piece of a car? Huh? Am I I always feel like, no, I mean, it ain't a full car. It's just like a tail light or something. It's a part of a car. I mean, seriously, like, if they say, click all the bicycles, right? And one of the squares got like a tire in it. You click that one. That's, you supposed to click that. Or like, where's the, Reggie! <laughs> oh man, Reggie don't know. But like, let's say they said, click all the squares with a dandelion. Do you click the ones with the, the bear in it too? Huh? Somebody, help me, help me.